This is Witchspace News for Friday the 27th of September 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news... Was the 2020 leak deliberate? A huge credits exploit is fixed but was there something more significant amongst the noise it generated? And Mission Farsight is 1000 days old. The blue store icon is changed and the game receives a significant status update and we'll also have a liberal sprinkling of community news that's caught our eye this week. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server where we organise all our community events and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. As a follow up to our video from a couple of days ago that should be linked on screen somewhere about now ...after the fact we kind of got the feeling that perhaps the leak was possibly entirely intentional and could be seen as part of Frontiers ongoing modus operandi with regard to all things elite. We also noted a couple of comments in our various community feeds that mention the same thing. Frontier have a well documented history of sprinkling clues, hints and riddles throughout the game world so it's perhaps not outside the realms of possibility. Don't forget as well that Frontier are, quite rightly, engaged in an ongoing marketing campaign for a live service. Something like this leak generates a huge amount of traffic and buzz in the community and is, honestly, quite a cheap and time efficient way of generating that buzz. Marketing is often overt but sometimes, particularly in the age of the internet, it's more guerrilla in nature. However the leak came about it's certainly been fascinating for us at least and I suspect FDev to gauge the reaction to the news. Whilst there are always differing opinions within any community and certainly the elite community the now almost all but confirmed leak of space legs and base building was met, certainly from our perspective, with frankly overwhelming positivity. The video we produced on Wednesday has had by far the most comments of any video we have ever produced. Almost all of those comments expressing nothing but blistering excitement. Also those comments are being read and reacted to by others on the thread. Interestingly the most popular comment in terms of thumbs up from the community expressed a willingness to pay for ongoing DLCs to help support Frontier and the forward development of the game. In what is often quite a noisy community we found it really encouraging to see. I'm sure Frontier have too. A huge credit exploit was shut down by Frontier this week and the credit made from it by players removed from the game along with any purchased assets. But in all the noise generated by what is essentially a bug ...did we all miss the significance? The exploit involved a new fertiliser commodity that was released into the game in the September update. Available to buy from Marshall Dock in the Readquat system the new EX7 fertilizer was selling for more than you could buy it from the same marketplace leading to colossal profits in very very short order. One report on reddit had the profits in the order of 7 million credits every 5 seconds for the more nimble fingered commanders. Suffice to say once it was discovered FDev reacted and the exploit was shut down however. The interesting wrinkle for us is that the fertilizers existence was part of a duo of stories that had appeared on the Galnet news feed in game. It was produced by the Rockforth Corporation in direct response to growing concerns over low harvest forecasts in several star systems. This is an incidence of a Galnet news article having a direct, measurable and quantifiable effect on the game world. Something that had been sorely lacking previously and something Frontier said they were going to address in the Galnet revamp. By our reckoning this is the first time something has actually appeared in the game after being mentioned in a news story on Galnet and without being the subject of a community goal. If you're unfamiliar with Mission Farsight then please indulge me while I bestow some quick statistics on you. Over 28,979 screenshots of Elite Dangerous. 26,650 hyperspace jumps. In excess of 822,339 light years travelled. 
214,836 tonnes of fuel scooped from stars. One rescue by the fuel rats and as of this week 1000 days in space. For the last 3 years Commander Picard of the dedicated explorer beluga the Hermes has been circumnavigating and exploring the elite dangerous galaxy in the 4 year expedition Mission Farsight and today he's celebrating his 1000th day in space. A prolific twitterer you can follow Commander Picard's exploits which are mostly presented in universe by following at Mission Farsight on Twitter. The good commander has daily reports from his sights and adventures and always produces some amazing screenshots from way way out in the black. Do give him a follow. A quick bit of late breaking news as we were going to press Will Flanagan from Frontier posted a significant update to the state of the game on the forums detailing a number of fixes and workarounds for issues that arose from the September update. There is also word in the post that September update patch 2 will be dropping sometime next week so more fixes are incoming. One of the real big takeaways that has lit the community up however is the blue store icon that appeared in the station services screen. That has now been turned orange to keep it in line with the rest of the UI and it has also been moved over to the right hand side to make it a lot less intrusive. And finally here's some community news in brief. Just a reminder that Commander Plater's 24 hour charity livestream in aid of the British Thyroid Foundation is tomorrow from 11am UTC. Myself and Commander Rini are the first on the commanders guest list and along with a good few other elite content creators will be setting him challenges to complete. Do come and join us. It should be a solid giggle. One of those always fascinating images that demonstrates the true size of elite ships appeared on reddit this week. They're not an uncommon thing but I always enjoy these. This one is by Commander Aaron is crazy one which you can see on screen now. It puts a federal corvette and a sidewinder next to an average American house and a tiny tiny human figure. And Sagittarius I published a quite excellent beginners guide to mining. Even if you think you know it all you probably don't. I found it hugely useful personally and it also happens to be beautifully filmed and edited. Do please give it a look. As always everything we've talked about this week is linked in the description below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.